guys and welcome back to my channel. Uh, first of all, ignore the nail polish. I peeled it off. <laughs> so today I am doing an unboxing of my very first planner from Bloom Daily Planners. So before I get started, before I actually open it, I just want to say thank you to Bloom Daily Planners um, because for World Kindness Day, they actually did a giveaway on Instagram and all you had to do was share their post and, and tag them um, and you would get a free planner of your choice from the list that they had of available planners um, and all you had to do is pay shipping. So I got this for $5 and it came at the perfect time because I've really been wanting a separate planner for budgeting um, because I've been doing all my budgeting stuff in my catch-all which was fine for a while, but I ended up like using it, you know, a bunch of my filler paper that I used to draw layouts um, for budgeting. And it just like, it was becoming too much and I wanted something that was dedicated to that, um, to keep my finances in order. So this came at the perfect time and I cannot wait to see this in person. Oh my goodness! This cover is absolutely beautiful. Like, I'll take it out of the quick wrap, don't worry. Ooh. I love this size. I love just, oh, look at this cover. Okay. So this is a 2020 to 2021 planner. I think it was a really smart idea for them to liquidate their planners that run out in July by, you know, doing that um, World Kindness Day thing. And you can see the little Bloom logo in the corner. Get my nails. I am, I am so sorry. Okay. <laughs> so we open it up and the first thing we have here is a pocket. And uh, y'all know I love my pockets. Hi y'all. It's uh, editing me here. So, um, what happened was I, it was at this point that I realized that I really can't stand coil bound. Um, I thought I was going to be able to deal with it, but I kept like opening up that cover and it wasn't sitting right. And I didn't really like the way the coils looked. I'm just not a fan of the way coils are. And something that was, um, you know, that I was apprehensive about with using this planner or any kind of coil bound planner um obviously is that i can't take pages out and put them in and really customize it so it was at this point that i decided to change things up all right guys so i actually have a surprise so this was something i was thinking about doing before this got here and now i'm definitely going to do it i'm just going to be straight up 100 honest i don't like coils i just don't i don't like the way they look i don't like the way they are like I already had a page like getting hung up on it and I'm I, no so I thought about since this one was free and I probably would never do this with one I actually you know spent like 20 bucks on I thought why not turn this into a disc bound planner how am I gonna do that you ask well hopefully it goes well but I'm planning on just trimming off um you know where the holes are here and it shouldn't be too difficult um i do have an arc punch so i think it should go through um this okay because it goes through pretty you know um thick paper but i'm going to attempt to deconstruct this thing and some of you are probably screaming at me and if i screw it up that's my own fault, and I'll buy another one, but since this one was free, I just really, I'm, I'm just a disc-bound girl, or, or ring-bound. What I have here right now is discs, so that's what I'm going to do. Um, and I think this should be, I don't want to speak too soon, but it shouldn't be too hard <laughs> to take apart. Actually, what I'm going to do... Cause that's gonna, that's pointless. What I should do really honestly is just rip the pages off cause I'm gonna cut the edges anyway. I know some of you guys are screaming. Okay, just bear with me. We are going to make this work. 
I know some of you are just absolutely losing your minds right now. I can already hear it. <laughs> Am I nervous? Yes. But do I think this is gonna work? I do. Sometimes, sometimes you have to take risks. <laughs> So I'm just gonna slowly do this. And I honestly, I don't even need to do these. I don't need July 2020. So I'm just gonna do up through, probably not even gonna put those contacts in. Things to do, my ideal week. I'll keep this for, for now, not sure yet. Cause again, this is gonna be my like budget and finance planner. So I may not need all of the things that are in here, but we shall see. So I don't need July, August, September, October. Start with November. So now that you guys hate me, let's let's move on to trimming the pages. All right, we're gonna see if this cutter will go through this. I don't know if this cutter is a uh, strong enough to go through this thicker material here, but we shall see. So I don't want to cut too far. Oh, check that out. And now we'll see how many sheets I can go through at a time with this paper cutter. Because again, I say it all the time, not to insult it, but it's not the it's not the fanciest paper cutter. Just a little cheap boy from Walmart. This might be like way too much. Yeah, I just I don't I don't trust it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make that a little smaller. Yeah, that's pretty much pushing it to the limit right there. Okay, well, this is a complete disaster. All right, guys, so what have we learned so far? Um, I would not recommend doing this with a crappy paper trimmer. That is causing me so much grief right now. Um, if I had a nice paper trimmer, I would not be having these issues of it wanting to rip and yeah. So don't recommend doing this with a crappy paper trimmer. If you have a nice paper trimmer, this would be really easy. But this is becoming an issue. So you can see I'm just kind of working with what I got here. But over here on Playing With Cass, we are all about working with what we got. And that is what we're doing. Is it going to be perfect? No. Is it ever? No, but I think it's going to work. Don't quote me on that, but I think it's going to work. So how are you guys doing? 
How are you guys hanging in there? Leave me a comment. I want to know. I want to know how you guys are how you guys are doing. Um, what are your Thanksgiving plans? What are your any kind of plans? I'm really bummed about Thanksgiving this year because with this virus, you can't really do much. You shouldn't be doing much. And it's just it's pretty depressing. But I'm trying to distract myself with things like this <laughs> to get me through. It's important to pay attention, obviously, to what's going on with, you know, the virus and politics and the world and everything. But it gets to a point where you are um, over consuming the news and then that can be really bad for you. So, you know, stay informed, but don't like, don't get too informed. Don't watch the news all the time or read, you know, read <clears throat> doom and gloom all the time. Um, because that can be really bad. Because even though everything seems like doom and gloom sometimes, because that's all you're reading about, you're not hearing about the good stuff. And there's always a lot of good things happening in conjunction with the doom and gloom. So just have to seek those things out because unfortunately uh you know the media tends to focus on all the negative stuff sometimes reality is negative though so they're not trying to be negative it's it just is what it is they're not gonna they're not gonna lie at least you'd hope they they won't i see that a lot too where it's like oh all they talk about is you know, they're saying people are dying from COVID. Well, they are. I'm, th that's not a lie. You know what I mean? <laughs> All right, we're almost done, finally. And then we're going to pull out the hole punch and see if I can manage to actually do what I set out to do. Because sometimes you have something in your head, and then when you actually go to do it, it doesn't work out. And that's always a bummer, but... I think we're gonna make this work. Ooh, okay. Be glad if I never have to do that ever again. Okay, so <laughs> be right back. I'm gonna get my whole bunch. All right, guys. Now you've seen on this channel before. I am kind of famous for screwing up when I'm using my punch. So we're gonna try not to do that. So how many holes are we gonna do? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's what I thought. So it'll be like a half letter size approximately so we're gonna do eight holes so i need to figure out where to you know how to best line this up that looks pretty even to me all right here goes nothing okay Okay, that looks pretty good. All right, so this paper, I should be able to punch through this um, through like a large amount um, without too much difficulty. I just need to make sure these are all turned the right way and I'm not gonna punch the wrong side because that would definitely be something I would do. I can already see that this is uneven because when I cut that first bit I was not um I was struggling so we're gonna attempt this oh god I am nervous okay that's actually too thick for even for this punch so we'll split it in half Make sure it is lined up here Okay, so I am going to do the rest of these because you don't need to see me punch the rest of these. And then we'll be back to hopefully put this on discs. All right, guys. So we have everything punched. Now we're going to say a prayer that I didn't punch on the wrong side on anything. 
And now we have to find eight discs. Yes, eight. <laughs> Just making sure. All right, let's see if we can even find eight matching discs in here. All right. All right, y'all. So, like, when I started trimming those pages and I started ripping some of them, I was like, oh, this was a massive mistake. Uh, <laughs> but I think I think I might have pulled through. Now, I will show you that, obviously, because this wasn't designed to be punched, uh, <clears throat> obviously, like, the punch is uh, going to kind of you know, go into where you're going to write. Um, but that's fine with me. It's like, I mean, it's hardly any, I can still write around that. So that doesn't bother me. Um, but just something to be, you know, for you to be aware of. I had actually, um, I had contacted Bloom back in June when Planner Geddon happened and I was looking for a new planner and I had been doing my research on brands and I was really stressing about trying to find the perfect planner for me uh, ultimately what I for my catch-all and ultimately what I decided on was I'm um, still using disc bound and drawing my own layouts which is still what I find to be best for me um, but I did reach out to Bloom and ask them I told them like I wrote them this long thing about how I was you know um, moving from happy planner and I really wanted the um, you know, the flexibility to be able to like take pages out and add pages in and did they have any disc or ring bound planners and um, they got back to me and they were super nice and actually Bloom Daily Planners is from um, my home state of Delaware so that's pretty cool um, but <clears throat> they reached uh, out to me or they responded to me and um, told me that they didn't have any at this time, but they would definitely, you know, keep that on their list for potential future products. Um, and so what I'm thinking is, like, even if they just came out with inserts or just even just, like, unpunched, like, just the in like just take all these pages and the covers and don't put a coil in them. Now, this is the one I ripped when I was pulling it out. I'm going to have to tape that down later. I will do that. In a little bit um but if this ends up working out which i think it's going to i think this half letter size is perfect for budgeting um this is what i use for social media planning if you've seen my videos on that um, i will link that in the cards and in the description um but i just really like the half letter size i think it's a great size um, it's not too big, not too small, and it just, it just works. And I think this will be great, and this is a great way for me to try this out. And again, the thing I love most about disc bound, now I don't know if it's the thing I love most, but one of the things I love most is when I sit down to write, I can take it out and write flat on a desk. I just, I love that. And so you can see again, because this wasn't designed to do this and I had to cut off where the um, coil was, it does kind of punch into the lines here, but um, not enough. That, I mean, there's still plenty of room to write. So, but just wanted to acknowledge that in case you decide to do this. Okay. I think I did it. Oh my gosh, guys. I am like really proud of myself. I can't believe I did this at it i made a disc bound bloom planner i am so excited um okay so now that we have moved from coils to discs let's do a flip through all right so we've got our front here which is a pocket which i love and this planner goes from july 2020 to july 2021 and then i like how it says here how will you bloom this year a uh, personal mission statement helps guide daily decisions, reminds us of what really matters. What's your mission statement for the year? So this I'm going to use for, um, again, budgeting financial purposes. I'll, you know, kind of tailor what I'm going to write here toward budgeting and, 
you know, my personal finances. And then there's kind of a welcome page here. It tells you about Bloom Daily Planners and how they started. And um, yeah, and it's signed by the co-founders, Kaylin and Michelle. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool, right? So we've got all these important dates here, which is pretty awesome. A uh, suggestion for Bloom, I wish Juneteenth was in here. Um, but they can add that in the future. I'll definitely put it in my monthly. And we just kind of have like monthly overview or yearly overview. I'm sorry. Purpose. Your purpose should encompass the big ideas in these four areas below. So we have passions, talents, what the world needs, learn skills. Hmm. Interesting. Values. Values regulate how you respond to negative or positive situations in your life. If your goals are in line with your values, you're more likely to succeed and be motivated. Circle or write some of your most important values and choose the most significant. What changes are you going to make moving forward to better align with these values? Interesting. The year of more blank and less blank. I, I really like this. And then it has some common values here. I like that. Where you are now and where you're going. Um, again, I really want to just use this for finance, so I'm not sure if I'm going to use these pages, but they're, you know, good to have in case I do. And I can always pop these in my catch-all, even though they're smaller than the catch-all size of nine discs. Um, they still fit right in there. Things not to do. This is cool. Monthly spending summary. This is perfect. Plan to bloom in 2020-21. Top five goals for the year. And I can always retitle, like I could cover this with a sticker um, to kind of redo this for uh, finances to make it, you know, focus on what I'm using this for. And then we have just a good old fashioned to-do list. And I am starting with November because... Um, it's November, <laughs> so I want to go ahead and start using it. Um, just a kind of a basic monthly layout. Um, something to point out, Bloom planners do not have a monthly divider. So if you're used to like Happy Planner, you'll have like November will have a design that you'll flip to and then you'll have your monthly. It just goes right to the monthly. It's very, very much uh, neutral. And I really like that for... Uh, budgeting and keeping track of my finances. I don't really want it to be all, you know, cute and uh, flashy or whatever, because if I'm having a week where I really want to make it cute and flashy, that's when I can choose to decorate it. But for the most part, I'm planning on this being very functional. This is where I will start. I love that it has weekly priorities. I was planning on writing down all of the bills that are due for the month on the monthly and then each week going in um, and just keeping track of like, you know, again, writing down when the bill is due, writing the amount that I paid um, and just kind of keeping track of that. So I really like that this is on disc now because um, I have some half letter filler paper that I should be able to pop right in here and, uh, and use if I need some extra note paper. Then we have December. Um, and there's quotes on each month, which I really like. It has notes, ideas, and to-dos on the side here. This quote is, if you are not willing to learn, no one can help you. If you are determined to learn, no one can stop you. I really like that. And so every weekly is the same. Um, this particular planner has blue text. A lot of them had pink text. Um, and again, if I really wanted to like decorate and get fancy with this, um, and I didn't want blue, I could just cover up all this and but I really I see myself using this very uh, functionally but sometimes you just you feel like decorating so that's an option the quote for January I am committed to being a better person today than I was yesterday better thoughts better decisions better actions love that I'm always doing what I cannot do yet in order to learn how to do it it's a Van Gogh it's a good one a comfort zone is a beautiful place but nothing ever grows there very true. May the flowers remind us why the rain was so necessary. I love that quote. Again, yes, I know I need to tape this and fix it. <laughs> Happiness will come to you when it comes from you. I like that. 
important dates for next year. And then it goes August 2021 through July 2022, which is pretty cool. And then how I bloomed in 2020 and 2021. One day you look back and see how long you were blooming. This is pretty cool. So I could use this page for like, because sometimes you, you know, you hit these milestones and you like forget that you did or you forget to celebrate them. Like just recently we paid off uh, a credit card that we had um, been paying down for a while. It was uh, on promotion. It was on a 0% APR promotion, but we budgeted it out so we could pay it off before we had to pay any interest. And we paid it off, so hit, we hit that zero balance, and that's a milestone. So um, that could be something right here, like, look how many, you know, cards I paid off, or this is how much I paid down on my student loans, or just, you know, something like that, just to recognize, you know, what you accomplished. And then we have again here on the back cover, uh, the featured artist, and uh, she's really freaking pretty. <laughs> So that's pretty cool. And then that's the back. So, okay, I am very happy with this. I think this is absolutely perfect for what I'm using it for. Now, would I be comfortable using this as a catch-all? Heck to the no. And that's just me personally. Um, again, my current situation is I use a nine disc, disc bound planner. Um, I really, I call it a disc bound bullet journal. It's not exactly a bullet journal. I, I don't know what it is, but I make my own layouts and that's how I plan my weeks. Mm. So that's what works for me. It's very customizable. I just, I just love it. I love my entire setup, but I really, really like this for um, keeping track of my finances my budgeting, just having something separate from my catch-all because it was just taking up a lot of room and getting kind of mixed in with all my other stuff. And Bloom gives you a $5 planner. It's kind of hard to pass that up. So I am very happy with this. Um, as far as if you guys are wondering about the paper quality, it's okay. Um, it's nothing to write home about. It's, um, it's pretty standard. I mean, it's, it's not the greatest. Um, but it is, again, uh, perfect for what I'm using it for. It doesn't need to be some super thick paper. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it. Again, uh, they give you a sheet of stickers and a bookmark. So let's go ahead and use the bookmark, actually. This is this week. So we can go ahead and put this in here. And then let's take a look at this sticker sheet real quick. So we have some super cute stickers here, all different ones. Uh, I really like this treat yourself with the little, yeah. Uh, we got some little bullets, a donut, gym and juice, that's cute. Resting beach face, there's a pumpkin. Yeah, super cute. There's a sticker that says order stickers. So meta, I love it. Let's see. Oh, there is one. Look. Dollar dollar bills. Ooh, that's a Benjamin. But look, it's a little girl on it. Can you see that? Oh, that's cute. So actually, tomorrow is payday. So guess what? going right there perfect and then we have our sheet we're gonna stick it right there in the back oh, I love having pockets I love that there's a pocket on the inside of the front cover and the inside of the back cover it's a nice touch but here's my five dollar planner and I turned it, it started with, uh, with coils and I turned it into disc bound because, um, that's just going to work better for me. So now I have a giant mess. <laughs> uh, what else is new? All right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Again, if you plan on, uh, turning any kind of planner into a disc bound, just make sure you use a decent paper trimmer. 
I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna ask Santa this year for a nicer paper trimmer. Um, that one works for most things that I do, but um, it's not exactly heavy duty, so I could really use something a little bit better. But um, yeah, other than the paper trimmer fiasco, this worked out really great. I'm super happy. I'm, I'm pretty proud of myself, if I'm being honest. Um, again, it does, you know, there's not room to punch. Like, it doesn't save you room in the design to punch because that's not what it's designed for. Um, so the punch does go through. Just, again, I just want you to keep that in mind if you're somebody that's really going to bother you. Um, for me, I that, I mean, it's it's barely anything. It doesn't bother me at all. I'm still going to have plenty of room to write on the weeklies and the monthlies. So it's, uh, this is perfect for me. I'm super, I couldn't be happier, honestly. I think this is going to be great and I can't wait to start using it. Um, and if I ever do decorate this, which I probably will for the first week at least, just to, you know, gives me another excuse to use up some of my stash of stickers, um, I will definitely share a before the pen. I won't be sharing after the pen because I know some people share their budgets, but I'm not comfortable sharing my budget online. Um, so, sorry. There's plenty of great channels that share that stuff. Um, but yeah, thank you to Bloom Daily Planners again for the uh, World Kindness Day promotion. That was uh, pretty awesome. And I got this for $5 and now it's disc bound. So now I'm like super happy. <laughs> so anyways, uh, be sure to give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not already. Uh, follow me over on Instagram at Planning with Gas. And I'll see you guys next time.